Hey guys, what's going on? Thanks for tuning in. Today I am back on the road. I feel like I've been traveling for the last two weeks now, but back on the road, headed up to Whistler today to meet up with an extreme whitewater kayaker to film part of a documentary that I'm working on called Van Life, which is essentially about filming people who live out of their vans to pursue their adventurous passions. Not only am I gonna be filming some kayaking and also see where our kayaker lives, but also gonna be spending the night in my SUV to really embrace the uh, van life experience. All right, just got up to Whistler and should be meeting Kaya, our kayaker, in about 20 minutes from now. Um, I've never actually shot kayaking before, so this should be a bit of an interesting experience, but I'm psyched nonetheless. So the goal with this whole documentary is to not only showcase the extreme adventures that people get to do, but also the reality of living out of your van. I think social media has really showcases van life as this glamorous experience, but in reality, there's a lot of hardships attached, so I'm looking forward to getting on the river, but also just learning a little bit about what it's like to actually live out of your vehicle. All right, here he is, the man, the myth, the legend. Kai himself. Hey. Hello, sir. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. <laughs> Introduce me to your compadres. My homie. Your homie? Hey, I'm Zach. Zach, what's up? Yep. Tell us the plan today. What are we doing here? Jumping, floating down the river in these big plastic Tupperwares. So we're gonna go up river. Yep. You guys are gonna drop in. You're gonna send me off into the woods somewhere. And we're gonna get some shots. Yep, there should be a trail. Uh, easy 10 minute hike in. Easy 10 minute hike in. Let's do it. All right. Okay, so Kai and his crew are putting their boats in just up river. I got about a 10 minute hike in to get down to the river and hopefully don't get attacked by any bears through this rustic trail, set up the gear and then catch them hitting the giant waterfall. Oh, spider webs everywhere. God damn. Okay, I literally have to go from one marker figure out where the next marker is it's not much of a trail oh this is what it looks like when it's no longer fun this place is ridiculous a thousand spider webs countless bushwhackings and a slight fear of bears it's not making this any easier okay so this is what maybe i'm supposed to go down oh my god Ooh. oh baby Ooh like a mountain goat. All right, finally made it down here. They are just up river from here. So I'm gonna set up the camera, get it dropping the first falls right here, and then the second falls will move down and reset. Definitely quite a trek to just get a couple shots like that, but I guess that's what it takes to have a long trek home. So basically the game plan is to put in some applications to try and get funding for this documentary, but I thought I'd try and get ahead of the game. And I like to, I wanted to try and film a documentary every year. So this one's proven to be a little harder than I thought it would be, but hopefully this is the hardest sport out of all the people that we're gonna be showcasing. All right, location number two. This is a falls right here? Yeah, this is the pudding falls. Woo. I'm breathing there. What we'll happens if the water comes down, comes back up and it recirculates? Yeah, so there's someone with a bag yeah. down on the shore, and if someone's stuck in there, then the idea is that they throw the bag of rope to the person inside. Got it. They grab the rope, the safety line, and then they get pulled out. So this is a gnarly one. Dude, that was insane. That's so sick. Love that, holy hell. All right, so running a little low on light, so this will probably be, be our last stop, and then we'll uh, maybe make our way back to the camp to see what van life's really all about and where, they're gonna, where we're gonna spend the night tonight.
this is our home. Whoa. This is my home. This is Minnesota. your house? Let's get a good look at it. Whoa, there it is. <laughs> Kaya? This is it. This is it. Uh, this is where you live. That's where the pilot sits. The pilot, I like it. The kitchen. Wow. That's my fancy table right here. Nice. Any appliance you need. My cooler, which is currently warmer than the outside. <laughs> Whoa. Magic. Mood lighting. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah. So is this like a curry week or just a curry night? I think it's a lifestyle. A curry lifestyle. <laughs> yeah. I think we just might. So curry's part of van life. Yeah, it is. All right, yeah. good to know. Cheers. Cheers. Bon appetit. All right, so we're gonna uh, close down shop here in the parking lot up in Whistler. Curl up into my little cozy bed here, which definitely isn't as nice as these uh, VIPs, what they've built, but uh, spend the night and then wake up tomorrow, get some more shots and do some interviews. Nighty night. Good morning. Survive the night. Oh. All right, survive the night. One night, van life. I had a pretty good sleep. Wasn't the best sleep, but wasn't the worst sleep either. And right on time, 7.30, bylaw arrives. Uh, we're making a kayaking film and we did not sleep here because that would be illegal. We'll walk over to the living room here. Roddy, what are you making here? Uh, we have a pot of pot boiling water. water. Wow, boiling water. You guys don't hold back on any of the luxuries in van life, hey? So the game plan is to have some breakfast, and we're gonna get some interview shots talking to these guys a little bit about, about their lives living out of their vans. And then we're also gonna go get some more uh, kayak shots before these guys gotta go to work. Okay, can we do this? Yeah. Oh. Always keep interview questions with you so you uh, remember all the right things to say, the right things to ask. What advice would you give someone who's thinking about doing van life, living like you are? If, if you're gonna do van life, just go for, go for it and do it. Don't think about it too much. Go out there, buy a van, and just start doing it. That's the best way to do it. All right, guys, so if people want to follow you, see what you're doing, all your nutty waterfall drops and everything else, where do they find you? Uh, I guess the place I post most pictures and anywhere they can find me is Kaya Sheppy on Instagram. Kaya Sheppy on Instagram. Kaya Sheppy.